Hello everyone. So this is Sandeep Sharma here. So the AIMS exam has been postponed and the new date is on 5th June 2020 and approximately if you leave the last four or five days approximately a month is left before the exam. So what should be your last month strategy? What is the paper pattern? What is the negative marking and what are the subject trends? which will help you in deciding what all to revise in the last few weeks. So this this all we are going to discuss in this video. So uh, please listen to the whole video if you are serious about the AIMS entrance exam. So first of all, quick review. The prospector says what are the types of questions and the marking they will be doing. I am trying to summarize using examples from my own question bank and not taking the examples which uh, uh, which you have already seen. So the total MCQs according to prospectors will be 200. Total time will be three hours. It will be a computer based online exam. The marks obtained will be transformed into a scale with a range of 100 to 0 called the percentile score. The minimum percentile needed shall be 50 percentile for each candidate. That means total uh, score will not be used to make your rank list. It will all depend upon how tough the paper is, how you are performing compared to other people. So tough paper, obviously, uh, even with a moderate score, you have a great chance of getting selected in an easy or repeat paper, you will have to score higher. And that is why uh, the attempt should be according to proportionate according to the degree of exam. How would I say difficult or easy? Solve the recent papers and you would know which is a difficult one as compared to the previous entrance exam. If you look at the previous November 2019 paper, it was a moderate level exam, not very difficult. There were some difficult areas in medicine, anatomy and orthopedic questions were a bit tricky, but overall the paper was of a moderate category. So when you will sit in the exam, while solving, you would know the ideal attempt. In general, at least 180 out of 200 is the usual norm. We always say if a serious candidate is there, he or she should attempt. But again, it will depend upon the paper. The tiebreakers, two candidates get the same score. Total aggregate marks in MBBS across all profs. So your karma never leaves you. So karma will continue with you. You can't do anything about it. You have done your MBBS, but people getting the same numbers, uh, the person getting higher score in MBBS will be placed higher and the older age candidate will be placed higher. In Indian system, we place a lot of uh, importance, rightly so, to, to the older person getting more respect. Here, uh, Ames also says that if two people also have the same percentile and same aggregate marks, the older age candidate will be placed higher. Uh, uh, both the two categories, you can't do anything about them. The best way is get so much high numbers that the tiebreaker question does not arise. But this is something which you need to know at the back of your mind. Now, what are the types of questions according to the prospectus? Why are we discussing type of questions? You need to know the enemy to fight the enemy effectively. First is the single best answer type. Most of the questions in AIMS entrance are of this variety. You will have a question like this, four options, one of them will be correct. What is the negative marking? Correct answer will get you plus one. Incorrect answer will get you minus one by three. So this is the typical AIMS example. Maximum questions will be of this variety. Multiple true false type is the second variety you will find in the paper. There will be five options. Each option will be either true or false and you will have to choose each option. So correct answer, you will get plus one by five for each statement and minus one by five for any wrong statement. So you would have to label it as true and false. Third will be match the following type. You will have column A having some diseases, column B having some agents or some investigations or whatever or therapies of choice. You would have to match correct option of column A with corresponding correct option of column B. In actual exam, for those who have given, they would know. But for those who are giving for the first time, in actual exam, what normally happens is you have to click using the mouse on column B option and bring them match with the column A. So obviously it's it's a small thing. All of you are smart people. You would be able to know how to mark it in the paper. But co column one, suppose acute bronchitis, if I'm asking, acute bronchitis is mostly caused by influenza virus. So you will bring this option and bring it in front of one. Then acute bronchiolitis is caused by RSV. So you will bring this option in front of option number two. Then bronchiolitis obliterans is precipitated by adenovirus. So you will bring it here and acute laryngotracheal bronchitis. You will bring uh, uh, the most likely cause, the most common cause of it is also known as croup. It is caused by parainfluenza virus and you will bring it here. So this will be the correct on option. This is how you are supposed to mark in the paper. What is the negative marking? Plus one by four for each wrong uh, right uh, statement which you mark and incorrect answer will be minus one by four for each alternative. Fourth is sequential arrangement type. 
they will give a list and you will have to arrange an ascending or descending order arrange the following microorganisms according to order of frequency starting with most common going towards least common and these four options will be there you will have to arrange them what is important this is very important that you have to get the full sequence correct so you get the full sequence correct heavy positive marking you get it incorrect heavy negative marking if you have a question which uh, you have no idea about a difficult question or from a topic which you have not read this type of questions are not many you can consider leaving them you can consider leaving them if they are tough that does not mean you have to leave because i'm saying you can consider leaving because isme negative marking jayega all or none hai that will be minus 1 so be careful about sequential arrangement if you have to take if it is a risky question moving over to next question multiple completion type you will have 1 2 3 4 options then you will have the actual question in multiple completion type lot of people lot of students waste time always start from the question what the question is asking now i get this question pehle main isko padunga i will read this vaccines which can be administered in a 15 month old unvaccinated child to pehle i will mark the answer think what are the possible options we know that bcg and pentavalent cannot be given beyond 12 months so what options can be given a and c can be given now look at the question above and which is the option which is saying a and c is correct it is the second option you will mark it that will be your answer so in multiple completion type start from below think what is the likely answer then move up it saves time trust me it saves time every second counts in the paper small little thing makes a big difference in the exam so correct answer plus 1 incorrect answer minus 1 by 4 so the, although it is a, a lengthy question but still you can take calculated risk because negative marking is relatively less in this question assertion reason mcq usually assertion reason are easy if you know your concepts well so assertion reason you will get assertion you will get reason and accordingly you will mark the option correct answer plus 1 incorrect answer minus 1 by 4 so you can take calculated risk in them also and seventh is the extended matching questions they are again very very time consuming and tricky as well so and extended matching you will get a theme and focus like hematuria in a child there will be a list of options given a b c d e f g h seven eight options they will give then they will give lead in question they would say look at these scenarios and pick the likely cause there will be case 1 case 2 case 3 and so on so case 1 you would read then you would pick the likely answer among this answer option list which is given and play put it as the answer similarly case 2 similar question but they will make some change and so again from this list you will have to pick and mark now the there are multiple things here first of all it will check your clinical knowledge secondly it will take time so reading this question is going to take some time so don't start with this question preferably keep them uh, once you have built up a, a bit of speed in the paper thirdly you need to know about the negative marking in them correct answer you get plus 1 divided by the number of scenarios incorrect answer minus 1 divided by number of scenarios that means how many scenarios this question has it has one and two scenario so you will get correct answer you mark case 1 as correct answer you get plus 1 by 2 suppose you mark case 2 as correct answer you get plus 1 by 2 so what is the total correct uh, answer you get in this question you get plus 1 however Another candidate marks पहला वाला उसने सही किया दूसरा गलत हो गया प्लस वन बाय टू माइनस वन बाय टू तो उसका स्कोर कितना आ गया जीरो एंड इफ यू लीव इट अगेन इट विल बी जीरो सो इट विल डिपेंड अपॉन द नंबर ऑफ सिनेरियोज गिवन टू यू इन दी अब एग्जाम्पल देर आर टू सिनेरियोज सो द मार्क्स अलॉटेड विल बी प्लस वन बाय टू फॉर ईच करेक्ट आंसर माइनस वन बाय टू फॉर ईच इन करेक्ट आंसर इफ द नंबर ऑफ सिनेरियोज आर थ्री द कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग मार्क्स विल बिकम प्लस वन बाय थ्री एंड माइनस वन बाय थ्री तो एक्सटेंडेड मैचिंग के अंदर it is time consuming but the positive and negative which you are getting that is not that much so you need to be smart and keep them for don't keep them for the last 10 minutes or so because you will uh, panic but try to uh, build up a speed try to get some questions under your belt and then come to these questions in case you find them uh, in the beginning of the paper but again there are no rules you can always adapt in the paper so things to understand visuals and videos can come in any type of mcq any type you can find a video or a visual being given normally the time management is uh, important in aims exam because extended matching and uh, these multiple completion type they take consume a lot of time last aims three rankers in top 
one of them i know personally two of them uh, mentioned it in their blogs or in their interviews because they got selected in other exams they missed marking one to two question each in aims now imagine if they had got those one or two questions correct maybe they would have been in the top 100 or so so that is the difference time management makes maximum time consuming are multiple completion assertion reason and extended matching so a lot time in the paper effectively in others mark fast and read the question carefully people always tend to be partially blind to words like all except and none be careful about these things subject trends past few aims exam what i have seen what what has been analyzed maximum weightages of subjects like medicine and surgery high weightages of obs gynae pathology and pharmacology so so while revising in the next one month give your time according to this weightage medium to high weightage last aims exam was peculiar there was anatomy ortho overlap nerve injuries uh, labeled uh, structures in ortho labeled structures in uh, uh, in your anatomy uh, visuals so psm has a medium to high weightage there were some less questions last year but psm will always be important pediatrics last paper also had some relatively less questions but pediatrics again neonatology is very important for aims uh, vaccines are very important for aims inborn errors of metabolism in pediatrics are very important and ophthalmology again retina and cornea are favorite of aims people aims rp center is one of the premier institutes in india so ophthalmology will always have at least 10 to 12 questions slight less weightage is seen in biochemistry ent and shorter subjects recent years anesthesia dermatology and infections integrated questions on infections have become very high yielding tough questions you get them right you gain an edge but a disclaimer weightage can change anytime be prepared for surprises sometimes aapne bahut acche se ek subject ko padha and you may not get even a single question from that sometimes you you did not read a subject well ye soch ke ki chalo biochemistry kam aata hai aims mein i will read for pgi and you may find that there are 15 questions coming from biochemistry it has happened do not panic the same thing will happen with everybody so it is important that you read every subject but read it according to the trend if there is a change the weightage the the, the marking the uh, percentile will also change in the paper now where to focus in the next 4 to 5 weeks 70 to 80% questions are of single option type so practice them assertion reason are very easy in the paper videos are not many so don't waste your time reading, uh, going through too many videos usually 3 to 8 is the range mainly clinical videos are asked paraclinical videos are very less 1 to 2 are usually asked from pediatrics then visuals are asked in past 3 to 4 exams they range between 30 to 50 so almost you can say to 30 to 40 question to aapko visual direct ya indirect honge just one visual and no uh, statement of the question aise kam hote hain mostly visuals are a part of the clinical case and histopathology is very important so histopath slides you need to go through for for revision the last few months last few weeks syndrome pictures only the common ones don't start reading rare syndromes i am this is a common mistake you all people make you start reading rare syndrome it is the down syndrome noonan syndrome kleinfelter syndrome turner syndrome jo paper mein marwata hai aapka galat ho jata hai aapki jaan chali jati hai as a candidate because you failed to revise down syndrome instead of uh, uh, and you uh, wasted your time reading a very rare syndrome so read common ones master them properly surgical instruments ortho tests and signs are important anesthesia equipments are important rash and lesions in dermatology are important ecg parasites and anatomy ki labeled slides are important what all is a must in the next 4 weeks revision of recent 3 to 4 papers last aims two uh, last aims there were two mcqs including one neonatology video which were direct repeats from the recent four papers so recent gal uh, direct repeat galat nahi hona chahiye revise the vaccinations well you know covid 19 scare is there so herd immunity and viral infections are the hot trending topics also the health programs are a trending topic revise surgery me trauma abg in medicine instruments and malignancies from class notes do not start reading a new book at this moment and one full length mock exam once a week at home can be given if it is possible do not leave any subject big or small do not read rare syndromes or spend more than 2 hours on the same topic read fast use any resource but do not go in for these xerox notes which are easily available these days prefer your own handwritten class notes they are gold standard and you can consider there is an achievers course uh, with uh, in collaboration with other faculties i made the link is there in the website 
it has some uh, videos on rapid revision topics they do not cover the whole syllabus but they cover the key important difficult topics you can consider that in case you don't want to consider that is perfectly fine what is important is the message the message is recent four papers and high yielding areas from aims must be revised from your notes because notes ka koi substitute nahi hai always remember this and finally aims is doable lots of seats are there due to peripheral aims what is tough for you will be tough for everyone so don't get underconfident trust your skills take the help of blessings blessings and give your best shot there is nothing to lose a seat to gain in case you need more uh, uh, you, you need to communicate with me i have a facebook account you a uh, facebook page you can you can message here and you can also follow me on instagram i have posted some rapid revision free for all videos and uh, small uh, flashcards on my instagram profile you can follow it and take snapshot and add them to your notes remember winning isn't everything but wanting to win is so do you want to win if you want to win what is the harm in trying all the best